Hello, hello, and welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. Today we're talking about Balconis and their new release. It's a new single malt release. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you give us some information about what's in our glass here that smells so good? All right. This is the Balconis lineage. So Balconis which somehow this is our very first episode ever reviewing a bottle of Balconos a year and a half later. Sorry, guys. There, visited them. They've been on the show. We've talked about tons and tons of Balconos on live streams, just never actually bothered to review one. Not because we don't love them. We do. And drink. I probably go through more Balconos than any other brand that I had, to be real honest. Um, yeah, I mean, we've given our feelings on them before, but, that, yeah. you know. I think we love them a bit much. I think it's yeah. all good. I think uh, I, I've yet to meet the Balconos I don't like. So um, I think they're awesome. Agreed. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, and that's not my favorite, but that's because it's got that heat. But yeah, you know, but hey, so yeah, so this is the new lineage. Uh, Texas single malt is $40, which is they wanted to get a, a lower price point because the regular single malt is about 60 And this gets people into the single malt range. And something bad happened there. Apparently, probably the kitty. So uh, I'll give you a real brief history on them. Gabe was on. And he can give you the full one back on our live stream. So basically started in 2008. An old welding shop under a bridge in Waco. Yay, tiny the stories that make awesome whiskey. Uh, now they retrofit and they retrofit still and made whiskey in 2009. Then, and they moved to a gigantic freaking place. It's now 65,000 square feet, which, you know, it's only, you know, it's massive with these amazing Forsyth uh, copper stills that are going up and spinning. In the, it's freaking amazing. These are some of the coolest looking stills I've ever it's seen. It's huge. There's something yeah. else. Yeah, they Huge. I don't know. I forget how long that is. It's insane. Their line but arm, it's really cool. Their line arm ah. line arm configuration is this giant slope. Uh it's so cool. it is it's really, so pretty. really awesome. Yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah, I just took a picture in here when uh and we uh do this. Uh, yeah, okay. that's a cool bit though. You can't get the whole thing in one picture. No, oh, that's true. <laughs> no, this is true. <laughs> Maybe I can splice some video in. We'll see. There you go. All right. So this one is comes in at 94 proof. It's 36 months old. It's a mix of ex Balcones barrels, uh, the single malt of American, Hungarian, and French oak. It also has some virgin American and European barrels. It's also a combination of Golden Promise, Scottish barley, and malted barley from Brownsville and Vega, Texas. And this is also floor mount, uh, malted here in Texas as well, which is very cool. So there's a lot of really cool barrels going in to this so this is a new part of this is a part of their core lineup which i'm very excited about um, oh, yeah gosh. and you mentioned a, a oh, lower price point yeah 40 bucks i mean all day long like this is, can be like an every drinker mall? yeah every day do you know what the distribution is like for this is it like easy to find around here or what here is yeah and- it's gonna be uh all the states that currently get balconies should be getting this because it's core lineup so they should be all getting it, it within it, the next few months. Obviously, Texas got it first because, you know, it's our home of Balcones. Well, yeah, so. yeah. I'm just curious about how easy it's going to be to find because it's be very easy smell. to find. Once smells it, glorious. Uh, now, whether it stays on the shelf, we'll just keep buying it. That's, That's different the thing. That's yeah. the thing. Oh, it smells so I want, good. I want one of these. It does. And it, it has that Balcones fingerprint, but oh, it's yeah. much lighter on the nose than what they were going for. It really yeah, is. I had a nice uh, conversation with Gabe about it. it was their uh, distillery manager. Oh, my gosh. That smells so good. It's so super fruity. It's with stewed fruit. Yeah, it's very fruity. Uh, berries and cream. But it's got, like, cranberries, mm-hmm. blueberries, blackberries, acai berries. It's like a V8 fusion in a glass. Yeah, it really yeah. is. And, I mean, there's so much going on in here. The caramel and the butterscotch. For 40 bucks. The caramel and the butterscotch are the prominent sweet notes in there, but the, the fruit is just oh. outstanding. Carrot cake, uh, a little bit of it's super rich. It's, it's like really a, rich on the nose. Oh, you're right. Mince meat cookies. Frosting. frosting for the carrot cake. Yes, that cream cheese frosting. Cream cheese. Mm. Frosting, yeah. yeah. But mm. yeah. Like, this is. Uh, but yeah, that, that Balcones stamp is there in the back. Mm-hmm. And anybody who's mm-hmm. familiar with Balcones products will be able to nose this blind and be like, yep, that's Balcones. Yep. And then proceed to get blown away by the rest. Yeah. I'm going yeah. in. Mm-hmm. 
Got it's it's like a scale back Alcona ton little coffee and wafer cookies and like mincemeat cookies. This thing is Aww. unbelievable smell. Oh, one other fun fact if we didn't mention it's it's named for the Balcona's fault line. Oh, <laughs> all right, let's get into this. Yeah, we've already gone in and it is oh. berries for day. I get raspberries on the front and blackberries. The finish is still happening. The finish is still going, yeah. But that's a typical Balcona's trait. Yeah. They do have long finishes. What's the proof on this again? Uh, this one is only 94, which is actually low for Balcones. Very yeah. low for Balcones, but much lower Delicious. than I was expecting we were going to say based on just how it drinks. Right, because that's yeah. it's growing. But the finish is still happening. The It's oh, not rich. overly sweet, but you get those sweet notes like that you were mm -hmm. saying. I get a lot of that like cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm. But the berries, mm -hmm. the berries for days... Like so freaking blackberry pie mm -hmm. in the glass, it, or just berry pie, like dark berries. Yeah, blackberry, uh, blueberry, rhubarb, rhubarb maybe. Mm. Ooh, yeah, just rhubarb. rhubarb. Mm -hmm. so, mm, so many berries. Yeah, lots of blackberries and blueberries. Lots of that berries and cream. It's very effervescent as well. It uh, is. With, uh, let's see, slight like, cinnamon on the back, and, and some raisins. Plums. Um, it's very rich for being oh. such a low proof, but mm -hmm. again, you know, finished in Texas. That that, that I find that uh, whiskeys that are finished in Texas have a depth about them. Oh, water no good. Water no good. Uh, oh, water takes that. down everything. Okay, no water then. Oh, you know what? Also, no it's water. got this after dinner mint with some. Uh, those ones and that dissolve in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those mm -hmm. exactly. Like at a restaurant. Yeah, but this is it's just like really light. Day. It like dances all over your tongue. This is a beautiful whiskey. I love it. Really whiskey. is. It just coats your mouth, and it's 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 like happiness in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. You can see, I've already loved this whiskey. I even uh -huh. to a few people as well. Um, well, we had a sample from the other night as well too. Yeah, and then I sent sample I think to Dustin and, and some to some other people, and they're like. And I drank a good bit of that. It's quite delicious. Um, I, I foresee many bottles of wine through this house. Yep. I can at, at 40 bucks a pop? Yeah. Yep. Yes, please. Yes, please. This has got to be probably one of the best new single malts on the market, hands down. Uh -huh. This thing is freaking awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. Is it actually labeled as a single malt? Yeah. Yeah, it's labeled as okay. a single malt. Yeah. Texas single malt whiskey. Pot distilled, beautiful. Get that right there. Yep, there we go. But yeah, it's it's. I, I I'm not exactly sure what this symbol is, but it it looks cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's freaking delicious. I, I did not find out. Cool. I probably should ask, but oh well. You know what it matters is what's in the bottle, and it's freaking delicious, and that's what matters to me. You know what? We'll just have to have them on again. Whatever. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> I know. Terrible yeah. idea. Just well, we had have a live stream and. Drink Balcones and talk to them all night. Yeah, we've had we Gabe have, uh, Yeah, Gabe's amazing. We need to get Jared on. Have Jared next. But time. I was just about to say, but we still haven't had on Jared, so we're still shooting for that one. Um, all right. I, oh, this I do is, want to say we have gotten free bottles from Balcones, but this is not one of them. Just do want to verify that we have gotten them. We will review those bottles as well at some point, but you know, just for transparency purposes. Well, but I bought ninety nine percent of my bottles of Balcones. I bought <laughs> so. Just want to say, <laughs> all and, right, uh, and that includes the bottles that have been drank. Yes, yeah, the many, the many, the many that have been, had to be repurposed a multiple times. Yeah. Right. All right, this so, is exceptional whiskey for forty dollars. Get mm -hmm. you some, but not around us, so that we can get some too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time. And until next time. Keep on crusading for better whiskey in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>